Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineeringtrainingexam.com and in today's quick tutorial we're going to discuss the law of cosines. So what is the law of cosines? We use the law of cosines and the law of sines to solve triangles that are not right angled. Such triangles are called oblique triangles. The law of cosines is used much more frequently than the law of sines is and more specifically when we know two sides of a given triangle and the angle in between those two sides, then the law of cosines enables us to determine the third side of that triangle. So let's illustrate the definition of the law of cosines. Let's look at the triangle here. Say we have a triangle and this is side A, we got side B, and we got C. And this angle right here is side C. So the law of cosines states that C squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of c. So let's look at a quick example of how the law of cosines can be used. Let's look at the triangle again. Say that we're given that this side is 8. We're given that this side right here is 10. We don't know this side which is d. Let's say that this angle D is 60 degrees, and this is angle F, and this is angle E, which are both unknowns. But since we have two sides, 8 and 10, and the angle between those two sides, we are able to employ the law of cosines to determine what the third side is. So let's go ahead and just plug all of our numbers into, the, uh, into our equation, D squared is equal to e squared plus f squared minus 2ef cosine of d. So that's our, that's our standard equation and we just want to plug in all that we know. So let's just go ahead. Uh, this is angle e, so opposite is going to be side e, which is going to be this first term, which is going to be 8 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 times 8 times 10 cosine of 60. And so we can just use our calculators and calculate this out. It comes down to d squared is equal to 84. Taking the square root we get d is equal to 9.17. So that is the length of our third unknown side. So how do we remember the uh, equation of the law of cosines. There, there is one thing we can do. Is first thing we just got to know that is it essentially is the Pythagorean theorem with some extra um, making it work for making it work for all triangles. So the Pythagorean theorem, you know, is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, and we know that this only works for right triangles. Now the law of cosines is a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of the angle c which is equal to c squared and this works for all triangles. Um, if you put, if you plugged in 90 degrees right here to make this a right triangle, this whole term would disappear, making it the Pythagorean theorem. So that's basically just how you can, a quick way you can remember what the law of cosines is. So when do you use the law of cosines? There's, there's uh, two, two instances in which you could use the law of cosines. You can use it when uh, the third side of a triangle uh, is needed needed and you know two sides plus the angle between 
It also can be used when you have uh, when the angles of a triangle um, are are needed, and you know. all three sides. So to use the law of cosines essentially you need to know there needs to be three things that you need to know. Number one you need to know either two sides and the angle between or if you if you know all the sides you're able to determine all the angles within the triangle by plugging in all your knowns. So let's again look at an example. Let's take the triangle here. Let's say we know all three sides. Let's say this side is 5, this side is 9, and this side is 8. Let's say we have an angle here that's unknown, A. We have an angle here, B, which is unknown. And we have an angle here, C, which is unknown. So what we want to do is determine what let's say angle C is. So all we need to do is start with our uh, standard equation. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine of C. And we just start plugging in all of the known sides, all the known quantities that we know. So we got 8 squared because there's a C and C is all, always opposite or um, in this case, we're using A, B, and C, where before we used E, F, and G, or, yeah. And uh, so the sides are just opposite their angles. So if this is angle C, this is going to be side C. This is angle B, so this is going to be side B. This is angle A, so this is going to be side A. So just plug in all your knowns. 8 squared is equal to 9 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 9 times 5 cosine of C and then all you need to do now is calculate it out using a calculator and you get down to the point where it's where it's uh, let's see cosine of C is equal to 42 divided by 90 and then to determine what C is just take the inverse cosine so C is equal to cosine and negative 1 or inverse cosine 42 divided by 90 and we're going to find that C is equal to 62.2 degrees so we could do that for each and every one of the angles within that triangle because we do know all three sides and all three sides are defined so using the law of cosines we can go ahead and uh, and uh, determine more information than what we're given so that's all I got for you today, guys. That's a real quick tutorial and real basic tutorial. I hope it uh, cleared some things up or at least was a, a decent review of the subject. Uh, if you guys need any more uh, information regarding the engineer and training exam, just go ahead and visit my site at engineerandtrainingexam.com. Shoot me an email if you have any more questions or if you want to see any future video tutorials on any subject. It doesn't matter. Just shoot, shoot them to me. And I look forward to talking to you guys soon. All right, so take care.